Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at a common question of how to check the units in your AutoCAD drawing. Uh, I'm also going to show you a couple tricks to quickly change and scale your units. This question comes up quite a bit, typically when you're receiving or sending drawings, just making sure you've got the units set correctly before you start working, uh, as well as when you receive a drawing before you start using it, knowing what units it's in can be a key when inserting it into other drawings to make sure everything's going to line up and match properly. Let's jump into today's video. It's going to be a quick one and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna take a look at how to check the units and change the units within your drawing. This drawing here, I've got set to architectural units. You can see down at the bottom here in my coordinates that it's displaying in feet and inches in fractions. So that would be the architectural style. To check that and confirm the units and uh, style that your drawing is set to, you can do so by clicking the AutoCAD symbol for the flyout in the top left going to Drawing Utilities and choosing Units. You can also uh, simply type in UN and hit Enter in the command line to bring up the same menu. Now you can see the type or style of units is set to Architectural. The precision, which you can adjust here, can be set at half and quarter or eighth inch intervals all the way down to 250, 256th of an inch. Now the insertion scale, which is another important one to make sure you know and can match when bringing drawings in and out, is set to inches currently. Now to change this, you can simply change this drop down here to feet or say meters if you're going metric. But what you're going to need to do is also make sure your drawing units, DWG units, are set accordingly. So in general, you're going to have two settings to double check and that would be the drawing units here as well as dwg units which you can type in in the command line to see the drawing units and how they're set here this is going to govern how things are brought in and out of your drawing so if something is coming in at the wrong size or scale or in the wrong location you're going to want to double check these dwg units to see what units your drawing is set to so you can see ours is set to one, which corresponds to inches here. Now we can also convert using this uh, command as well. So say we want to change our units to meters, we can type in six and hit enter, and that's gonna change our drawing units now to metric or meters. We're also going to get the option here to, to change your display format units, so scientific or decimal, we're just going to leave this as the default. We're also going to keep the precision to two decimal places. This is where it's going to get important. So scaling objects from other drawings when they're inserted into your drawing, typically you're going to want that set to yes. That's going to automatically match the scales between the two. Scaling, say something from inches to feet if your drawing is in feet. Uh, but if you don't want to have anything changing or scaling automatically, you can set this one to no. Insert units is going to set the, uh, the units that drawings coming in are scaled to, and that's gonna match it to whatever the drawing units you set are. So in this case, we just set them to meters, so it's going to match that if you say yes. This one is where you can scale everything in your drawing. Now it's gonna be uh, something you wanna be sure of before you do this, because everything in your drawing is going to change its size it's going to be shifted from feet to meters so everything is going to uh, scale accordingly depending on which units you were in or going to now if we say yes you'll see in a second here it's going to also ask you if you'd like to scale objects that are in your paper space typically i'm going to say no on this one since your paper size is typically not scaling as well Hitting enter, you can see everything has changed in here. But if we zoom around and find our drawings, you can see that our 
floor plan is now down here. You can also see down in the bottom, our coordinates have changed. They're no longer in architectural feet and inches. They're now in straight metric meters. So we can do a quick distance check here and you'll see that our walls are uh, now four meters apart rather than the um, 15 or so feet that they were before. Now that's an easy way to scale your drawing or switch units between the two and that's also how you can quickly and easily check which units your drawing is in. Remember those two commands are UN and enter to bring up the drawing units which is over here and then DWG units to change the insert and scaling units within your drawing. Now, I hope this helped, and if you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And if you guys like this video and these tips, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, where I go over everything from setting up drawing templates, scales, line types, to XRefs, exporting, plotting PDFs, setting up a floor plan, all of that and more. It's packed with over 10 years of experience and tips and tricks to help speed up your workflows. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's discounted using the links up above and down below for viewers like yourself, and you can download it instantly. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.